Yo, Lloyd Banks just stole Rosenberg's phone. First thing in the studio. G Unit taking over Hot 97 this morning. What's going on, bro? Yeah. Everything. Everything's yeah, yeah. good, man. All right, so we're ready for action. It's throwback Thursday. We're 97 minutes commercial free. Laura Styles is present. Rosenberg's in the building. We're about to get into this new situation. It's EP Beast. All right, so before we get started, um, let's get on a throwback joint. Rosenberg, you and Sype have been arguing about this for a long time. <laughs> this song right here is the one of the best G Unit songs of all time. It's and not, in the club, bro. when I play yeah, this but out. But why do you why is it such a big deal? I, I'm telling you too that I love this record. Ladies love want to get to know you. It it's cool. Yo, it's cool. I had a line that they never let me forget on. All that. my girls love that. Right. 40 year old for like a young lady. I I was popping. <laughs> Banks, was you, Banks, was you, you was banging a 40 year old when you yes. wrote that? <laughs> Mother and daughter. Well, I'm sorry, hold on. God. That's a whole other show. Was this during, well, no, but serious, because you had a, a people forget you was in the porn. Going on. You was doing the porn thing at this time. <laughs> yeah, but it ain't happening. It was just a, a regular show. Yeah. Shout out to Boston. I wasn't condoning any of that when it was taking place. Listen, fifth. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. I'm, if Yo, this was going on at the, at the same time, the Lloyd, at the same time? Oh, no. Nah. No. It's, nah. Yo, these interviews is getting really and really by the day, bro. I don't understand. Yeah, like, so I ain't lying, e, bro. Hang on, bro. <laughs> hang on. Amazing, hang bro. on. 50, we going to deal with you and your women. Uh, no, we're not. I'll <laughs> <laughs> tell you what, Ebro. Uh, it makes sense that we are in a special studio for G Unit today. For Fifty, we requires a special studio, and it makes sense because <laughs> I was at a special, Ni- I was at the Knicks game the other day DJing, and Fifty was there, and they had showed a bunch of celebrities on the screen. And when Fifty came up on that screen, they still love me, yo, people. They yeah. still love this guy. I told you, they went nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, didn't you, didn't you, didn't you say me? that he met feel- your wife? Yes, Fifty did meet my wife. Yeah, I, yeah, I, said, I read the quote. I said. I said Oh man, you you did good. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, no, you said it to her face. Yeah, I said, I said, yeah, you did good, man. You did good. So, yeah, you made some good choices. Oh, no, thank you, Fifty. Every once in a while. Fifty, talk to me about this effing vodka. Nah, we're not F- talking it. about that. Why yes, not? it is. Nah, because there ain't no money in it for us. Oh, you see man. that? <laughs> oh man, this is bad. Fifty, Ew, man, stop it. Yo, they feel, they what, what, mix, what, what, what we need to do? Like that Wait, hold on, bro. Old man Ebro went that back. Listen, we listen, you. I've been in this a long time. Radio, baby. stop that, because then you know how these people say things like Elliot, Elliot Spitzer. Now nah, he out the office now. He came for us for payola many years ago. He yeah. didn't find nothing. Leave us alone, Jack. No, he, found, he found things at, at iHeartMedia and don't people don't do that. Job. I know you guys don't do yeah. that. I'm just saying you have mis- people misinterpret what you're saying. You see what I'm saying? Like when they hear it and they, like if, if, when I say like, with and I was talking about the campaign I was doing. I work out so I look good when I drink. How true is that for for everyone who has an active lifestyle? Okay, like you I know, I see you guys in the sauna. They let me get this out of my pores from last night, and then I'm gonna go back to party. So this is like after. a this is a healthy vodka. No, it's not. I mean, it's still alcohol. It's still alcohol. It's just, but the lifestyle. Do you work out? Yes. And then you have a drink occasionally. That's oh, right. You, you know, That's everything's right. good in moderation. If you do too much of it, you know what happens. Like. But you're saying that people suspect that you just out here on, on you're promoting something yeah. because it's money in it when really it's something that you support. And they've been trying to get me to do alcohol since uh, 2003. And, why and I've been you passing on it me? until I found the right collaboration. And you know, is the, it because? It's, but it's not because of just money. I mean, it's got to be nah, that the splits it's, is right. I'm, it's, it's well, it's, it's the right deal. You know, at the same time, of course, you're not going to do the wrong deal. After all of this time that you waited, if you looked at the category and didn't just jump in because you like, nah, I'm gonna make sure it's the right thing. And then when it comes across that the, the period and the actual product, everything is lined, the stars lined up for you, and then you go, okay, I'll do it now. How often is it that an artist in music, the first thing they're known for doing is water, yeah, not it's alcohol, it. and it's taken this True. long for you how to about get this, alcohol? How about an artist being known in hip hop culture for brand extension when it's the crossover? Right. It's actually taboo to be a part of it. It's, and maintain when I your credibility. It, it wasn't right. okay for you to be doing that. Yeah, it's yeah. just because I had such a bad boy aura around me, I I said I'd do whatever I want, and I did it. And then when it worked, this because I didn't need the money at the time, I took more equity than finance involved in it, and it it paid off and it created a whole new model. Following that is when it, they started implementing the 360 deal. G-Units here, 50 Cent, Yayo, Yo. Banks, yeah. Buck, and they yeah. got a new EP, The Beast. Yeah. Beast. Back it's on out, iTunes right now. Now, why, why um EP after EP? Because the, the, it broke. We broke them into EPs because I didn't want to let the the sales numbers reflect album. Got it. It's the same reason why you know you see artists put their album out in the middle of the night, didn't tell anybody. It's established artists so they can yeah. escape 
Whatever stigma comes back when the number doesn't look right. So if right. it doesn't do well, then you say, well, I dropped it overnight. It wasn't so a big you, deal. Yeah, no promo. So you're, you're, yeah. you're afraid a little bit? You don't want that well, album me, to look whack? I'm not afraid. Sure. It's just when you sell 13 million records on your first album, and then 10 million records. Yesterday was the 10th anniversary of the mascot. I got two albums that went diamond. Mm. So you know it's impossible for you to do those numbers in this, this climate. And I just... Whatever the number is, it, it's it's no gonna good be for lower. Me. It's gonna be lower. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. For so you. it's not fear; it's protecting the brand. Right. Were you okay with the numbers for the first project you guys put out? Yeah, yeah, we did. Right? Mm-hmm. Good. Can you yeah. talk the business about that so people understand? We talked about it last well, time. This is an independent thing, so yeah. you're eating. Y'all get more money off of this than you would in your we normal. Actually, get the money versus yeah. the ten cents you make per CD. <laughs> mm. We get the. You money. feel what I'm saying? So this is like, this was I bought it today. It was five ninety nine. Right, right. So of of that six dollars, how much do you get put in your pocket? A lot more than the three, dime. four dollars. Mm-hmm. Way a lot more, more than what a major. Way give more you. than these rappers decide. So how much can you give me back right now? Because I didn't even eat off any of your diamond. <laughs> See what he does is not good for people. <laughs> See, you know, he tries to get into people's psyche. <laughs> he wants you to think. I can't do that. Like, when you sit on the show, I'm not giving him my money. Like, like, no, 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 no. I'm going like, to give it to you no, so no, it looks no. good like on you iTunes. Retail, you, you walk around the, the store, you see clothes there, right? And they go, I, no, I'm not buying I'm not giving them my money. They'd be upset if they figured out that we already have the money. Right. As soon I, as you see I it am, at retail, retail already bought it from us. They're trying to sell you the clothes. Right. 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 You see what I'm saying? Like, we already said, so you look at it, and you see, like, in Macy's, when you look around and you see... Polo Land, like it's just the biggest area in the entire. You know that they doing the numbers. They already paid the more Ralph. square footage, the more they actually pay them. Uh, you mentioned the overnight. Wait a minute, I'm trying to get my. You're money You're not getting your money back, Ebro. Yeah, Sorry, you did a lot of work. Back. You did a lot of work. You supported Gina for a long time. They're never gonna hook you up. Here's the thing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> two weeks ago, two weeks ago, two weeks ago, two weeks ago, Drake came out overnight uh-huh. again. Did five hundred thousand. Right. Following up on J Cole doing close to five hundred thousand. Yeah, of course. Right. Um. I personally have been like shocked and kind of amazed at the the power of the Drake brand. Mm. He's made Party Next Door stars. I don't even know what the music well, sounds like. The, look, you play every two minutes. His, his voice is being played on the radio, and you can't even say like right now. Check this out. The records that are, are breakout records, they're not sing- they're not singles. The street records that are playing in the nightclub until they start to generate enough interest that the mix show DJ is bringing it back to the radio. And it's starting to create a, like, hot nigga. You think that was a single? Like, nah, written to never. be a single? Right, of course not. Coco? Never. I'm in love with the Coco? <laughs> right. Like, these are, not, these are good album cuts that turn into singles for new artists. And if you approach it, then, then what are you making? Are you making dope album cuts and not making the, the, the single that's supposed to play at radio? Right. Or are you making... It's like radio's going in reverse. Like our system is going, it's hundred percent, hundred percent from what it was. going back to where it was when we was pulling records off the street. Right. right. So at that point, the street is the internet and the club. Yeah. So it's saying that you could create the energy, but it takes so long for the record to be a hit. Nine months, ten months. Yeah. It doesn't make like if you got product to sell, then you sit there. Your dilemma will be a new record that comes out that's good starts to interfere with the record that's working. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause when, when the, the rest of the EP <clears throat> comes out, they go, oh. Buck dropped a record with uh, me, him, and um, Troya. Troya. That record starts to play, and then you go, oh, you see exactly the the amount of losses and spends on his bottles record to the ads on the other. <clears throat> you know what I mean? So it's like the the guys that when it, that didn't play bottles played that. Power season two. Yeah, man. We just wrapped season two. Actually, last night was a rap party. I heard, yeah. Thanks for the invite. I heard that Jerry Jerry Ferrara is part of this, this second yeah, yeah. season. He'll be, yeah, the second season. He's, he's a part of it. It's, it's exciting. Like the new characters, we're going to be new cast members coming on to the show. The season three is going to be crazy. Courtney is yeah. working on this. We got a, a great writer, showrunner, Courtney, Courtney Kemp. Courtney Kemp. She's just, uh, that's like your Shonda Rhimes or something. She dope, man. Like, I, like I, all I got to do is talk to her about things and tell her things that she, she come up with. It. She picks pieces of. Why did you troll Empire so hard? Why did you go after them why and say that they was? Why did you call me a troll? Because you. <laughs> because why do I have you a relationship with you? you why am I your friend when I see you? Yo, after you, you my, you my people. We've been, we've been through wars together. 
Yeah, but I should be able to talk to you like a regular guys person. Said I ruined New York City. <laughs> you did. Oh yeah, yeah that's messed Why up. Why am I smiling at him? I do remember that. You ruined New York City hip hop. You went after everybody. Look, you, you tore was, it down. You tore it down. He was the, the program br- director during that period. It was a great <laughs> no time. No new artist <laughs> came out of the city. <laughs> it was a great it's time. It's his fault. He said it was a great like, time. It's exactly his fault. It was a great he time. passed the buck to me. He said oh, he was running radio. I know. Well, he's saying that because you you. Kind of took a little. You were started beef with everybody. You know what the hell I saw the new artist. Look, I know you're a bully. Okay, I seen you me? boxing. I saw you boxing online. I was watching <laughs> you boxing <laughs> online. <laughs> I, 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 I told me that the crazy Latino you know. girl. <laughs> the exciting. The, 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 the all that clean cut stuff is early in the morning on the radio. You know, I know. And there's no reason why you're hitting the bag that hard. I'm, I'm, I'm stressed out a little bit, but I'm not a bully. I'm stressed out a little bit. I know but what anyway, kind of stuff you, happens at home. I've been went uptown a little bit. You after you make that little troll through uh, uptown. We know you've been uptown. Woo, we know. No, no, no. Oh Yo, you Fifth, understand it, huh? Fifth, we know you've been uptown. Yeah, but that's when it gets crazy. These girls are crazy uptown. They're no, crazy. We, no, we know. We, yeah, see, we see what happened to you, bro. That's a Latino but woman. Oh, my God. By the way, Ebro, you have this in reverse. The fact of the matter is I don't think 50 did the trolling. I think 50 got trolled. Because on Twitter, everyone was coming like, oh, Empire shutting shutting power down, not realizing, as 50 was explaining off the air, power is on <laughs> stars and Empire is on Fox. And I'm like, that's right. not even a fair fight. See that? Check yeah, this out. Boom. I knew it was racial. I knew it was racial. I knew it was racial. See that? We on the same side. I know. Brother. Well. That brother used to stand across the street. <laughs> because you came here with that, you came here with that energy yeah. like, yeah, yeah. man, he walked in like this, he said, yeah. Say, yeah. Say, <laughs> he's still being the program director. He come to me, he goes, Wait, everybody you know- else, hey, what's up, man? Let me hear that new joint you got. Me? Hey. What happened with the the, the marketing dollar? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, what about Wait, 50, just, you know, Ebro's been... Ebro's been cranky like a little bitch all day. Can't Do not it. even take yeah, him seriously. It. Although, don't say that we're friends because you hired uh, Jerry Ferreira, who's Turtle, and you could have just hired me for the same part. Man, he's Turtle. <laughs> I know. He was Turtle. <laughs> well, I'm Turtle and Jay's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost Turtle. <laughs> he came through. That was, it was really good, though. He, play, he plays an attorney. So after you saw it, you watched Empire. Yeah. You like it? Yeah, the first, the first episode, it was... I didn't know what it was until I, you know, I got yeah, a chance to see it. And then... The, the show moved so fast that it it was it felt like my whole season. And you was, compared it to Glee. It is. Because it is it, Glee, though. It does. When it stops, because they take the ambiance in the room out, and it just plays the music. All right. So it feels like you're watching a play then. It's like point. a musical, yeah. though. Yeah. When they do that part, now I'm like, wait, like, okay. <laughs> I, I, it's so different from Power that I don't really feel like... But did people come at you and try to compare it, even though they're not similar at all, just because it's black, I've, I've black TV shows? See, but that's what it is. That's why they followed the market. Of course. if you had a successful black television show, and they want, they're want they targeting that demo, this is why they did the sim- similar things in the artwork and the taglines for the show. Have you seen Taraji since? Since you guys are having a little seen back her. I haven't and forth. I'm not arguing with women. I, I just know you can't win. But you, you still know, do just, it. They, the passion for that. <laughs> she said you still do it. But you it. still do it. You're very emotional, especially on social media. So you post stuff up, you take it down. Man, these girls, like, you know, I just told you I have problems with particularly Latino women. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. You know, like, is, what is your problem with that Latino women? That fights the energy. I don't know where it comes. How they all get a piece of it? Or that energy. I know. <laughs> All of them in the no, world, right? I think women All in of general got a are very bit of yeah, Women are interesting people. Like You can look at, we use words. I use words. I'll, say, I'm, I'll take my time to make sure I'm saying what I mean when we actually and act. And then somehow they can hear it and nod their head and still go on emotion. I know. And hear something different. Completely different. Like their idea. Whatever what? they want to hear. Yeah, like the expecta- their expectations of a situation will be bigger than... You intended for it to well, be? Well, maybe and just the communication is not clear. No, communication is very clear. That's my problem clear. with you guys, because sometimes the communication is not clear. No, see, that's the person telling you, yes, exactly what they mean, and you're getting confused because of your feelings. And then going to the gym and punching the bag and coming home with... Oh, so you mean to tell me, but you're acting like you're not an emotional person. 50, I think that you're very emotional. No, I'm just watching you. Yeah, I can love you if you take one for the team. Any of the other members of G-Unit guys have Latina baby moms or wives? Yeah, I do. Banks, I know you have at least six or my seven. My son. <laughs> six or well, you do? Seven yeah, yeah, my son. Banks, you have one too? My son. Well, he's Puerto Rican. My son's mother. Banks Puerto is Rican. a dark skinned Puerto Rican. He's yeah, I know. Banks, Rican. you are Puerto Rican, aren't you? Yeah. And do you have a Puerto Rican baby mom too? I ain't got no baby mom. No, don't Zero? Know. I don't think. He good. He doing good. He did good. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think. No surprise baby. Buck, is your is your Puerto Rican baby mom crazy. crazy? Okay. <laughs> All right. You answered the question. No, you probably yeah. make her crazy. I mean, you know, I play my part, but she's crazy. 
<laughs> and then it's, it's, it's wild Puerto because, Rico. like he say, it's like I think oh, you have what, okay, got a little just, bitter. What makes her so crazy? I'm it's curious. It's just the feistiness. You know, you know what it is. I, I mean, it comes that's along. What, that's probably what attracted you to her in the it's first the place. It's the stuff that attracts you that turns mm. on you later. Yeah, pretty much. Like I like, like, I like I, it. She fights until she plays you. No, no, no. Just women in general. You, you enjoy women. it at times, but then it get out of control. Like y'all, you 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 enjoy it, but then y'all take it to the next level, and then it becomes a. Becomes a crazy, you know <laughs> actual, what I'm crazy. A actual crazy person. Cry real fast too. So on that though, G. But unit, she good though. Cause I don't really give a <laughs> fuck about none of y'all, baby mama. <laughs> 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 Fifty just enlightened us that he's doing home decorations. Is this the Connecticut place? That you no, got? no, no. It's a new, like a little smaller spot. Cause I um, like I own one in, in Atlanta. Okay. I had got, I bought it a while back, and then now I just been putting the stuff in it. I mean, it's been fun. It's been fun. So but whatever. Piece by piece, I can't do a lot of stuff. I just do one room at a time. So whatever hot bartender is in Atlanta, he about she about to be uh, 50s with her girlfriend. <laughs> no, nah, I don't, I'm I'm done with that. Bartender. Off the bartenders. Yeah, I'm gonna do something. Drake's different. not done. He got a new bartender. He took off. What's the girl's name? He took Bernice. over the way. She was hot. Out Bargos, I think that's her name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. took it off. We're straight. such losers, Ebro. We got to get a bartender. I gotta, no, I'm good. My girl has a job. Yeah, I got a Harvard what? grad. I'm good. I'm yeah. like, Harvard grad. You got a, a smart, a smart girl. Got me a nerd. Girl bro. Works. I bet you she can't do what a bartender can. She can. Some well, things. some things. Nah. I doubt it. <laughs> doubt some, it. Of, some of the bartender girls is is, is uh, are they hot? They're sexy. They hot and they New York City nightlife don't Harvard play itself. Grads. The Latino women are dominating New York Domin City nightlife. Dominicans specifically. Dominicans, Puerto Ricans. Definitely. Beautiful girls. She can be a bartender and still going to school, so she could be a potential Harvard grad. Potential. I mean potential. I mean, potential. Yeah. She could be paying her way through school. And she ain't paying her way through Harvard. Harvard money. Money. Well, it better what, be a hell of a bartender. What does that mean? It though? could be a tuition money. She could get her money from out the bar. What does that mean? No, hold on. Go ahead, Phil. A woman is uh, a bartender or like uh, a waitress or it works in, in, a, in a different type of platform like versus a woman that's a Harvard graduate. Like You didn't even say that she has a job or what kind of money she earns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we were just talking about what they do. Yeah, but do we make, do we gauge a person on their level? Like, you know, some people do gauge a person's level of intelligence on whether you have an associate's, bachelor's, or a master's right. degree. Right. But, but those people, a lot of them are conditioned for schooling. So they retain information long enough to pass midterms, but never but apply don't those they, things. Mm -hmm. That don't mean they're good mm -hmm. in they life. Never, right, right. That I don't agree. mean that they know how to hustle. That don't mean right. that they good women. Yeah. That don't mean a lot of shit. And if, if people have been around and exposed to a lot of people, and they, like, a lot of times when they deal with, with people, they know how to be social, or they know how to, to just talk to the person initially. So it's easier for you to get into a communication with them and and start to like the person. But the women you choose, fit, right, right, that you've chosen, right. right I said I have a really random choice. So it, it's like your, your youngest son, mm -hmm. right, his mother, right, which we don't really know much about. Yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. But that relationship seems great. Yeah, well, because it, it happened on. Terms. It's almost an arrangement. Ah, you see what I'm saying? Like that's how so you. So you plan you planned your child with her? Well, we had we had him. You didn't know we had him for a while. Yeah, that's right. So he was already was like. And that's kind of my situation, uh -huh. right? This is a woman that we was fucking around, dating, seeing uh -huh. each other, and we was like, listen, let's let's have this kid. Let's you know she's, a, you know, runs a management company, has her own thing. Yeah, you know yeah, what it's I mean. Not, it's it was not, like let's go into it. It's easier when there's you know you don't have that. Like, you know how you, you, you meet someone and you feel like you're not certain? Because the lifestyle, it, it changes so dramatically that you don't even know if just being around is a big enough gesture. Like, so they may you mean for like, your lifestyle? Right. The way you have to go places for long periods of time. And, and moving like around and stuff like that. And if you're doing that, then like just at, at different points, there's if I'm going somewhere and, and, and you're dressing, like I think a woman's a reflection of a man. So if she earns more than him or if she uh, is smarter than him, she reflects him being secure. If uh, she's dropped dead gorgeous, but she um, off to see the wizard saying, if I only had a brain, mm -hmm. she reflects his necessities at that moment. Mm -hmm. And uh, if if she's walking around and she she's not presentable, then she reflects him. She reflects him not caring enough about himself in perception to change. So she thinks I'm buying shoes for her, but I'm buying shoes for me. Don't men also, ref but wouldn't the same be true of the way, the, what the man's qualities are reflect the woman too, I'm guessing. Right, I think, well, the, the woman should go up in association to the man. If he's not bringing up, I let, look, Luther Vandross said, house not a home without her. I say, 
she is a house. Just some of these bitches don't got no windows, some don't got no doors, <laughs> right, got right. a hole in the roof. <laughs> And your job is to kind of sort through <laughs> to figure out what's damaged and fix it. How do you at this point though, Fifth, even look at a dating situation? You've been rich and famous for so long. Right, it, that, it has to be circumstance. That's why nobody matches. Like, you, you look at the people that I've dated, none of them are similar at all. Do you ever want to settle down? I, I mean, eventually. Do you yeah. want to get married one day? I'm not sure I want to be married. That's a, that's a bad contract. Look, mm -hmm. let's just look at it and say. Uh, <laughs> oh God, of course that's how fifty look at it. Speaking my language, that's a bad contract. <laughs> I don't like the agreement. Yeah. I don't like the government involved in my personal. Like, I don't like don't, none of that. It don't make sense. In my yeah, way. I think well, stability is attractive, right? Right. So if you could do something that, that makes you completely content as far as stability is concerned, I get it. If the woman's interest in marriage is coming from religion, mm -hmm. then maybe you look at it a little different. Right, mm. but what we're saying is is just in general, just the concept of marriage it does, is a bad deal. Yeah. Is any of you guys married? Government? No. Yeah, yo. Mm. you not married? Mm -mm. Divorced? Yeah, yo got like three wives. Mm. I was just wow, he like he, he likes to be in love. Cause I see a lot of drive, <laughs> I see a lot of driveways and shoveling on your Instagram. Yeah, he like. Yeah. So you take care. Of of I'm just moving yeah, I'm the just, snow. Just moving it's the London's snow, taking birthday. care of my kids, man. <laughs> yeah, yo, how many kids? I got three. Three boys, girls. Two, what you got? two boys, mm -hmm. one girl. Okay, congratulations, man. How's that? And I, I see you got a kid too. You, yeah, you just I got a little girl. First yeah, one, right? my first. Yeah, man, I went in. How's that? Little baby little girl? on Instagram. Little girl. I yeah. seen you on yeah. Instagram. Yeah. Stay away from Congrats. my little girl. No, 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 listen, look. What's up, nigga? I'm gonna be hip hop, so I'm gonna still be young when she get here. I got four of them. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Buck, you got four girls <laughs> and one boy. Woo! Wow. I told you he impulsive. I got a starting lineup. I said he impulsive. I'm cool. That's crazy. And he made his faster than the rest. Who's more emotional, Buck or Fifty? Ooh. Emotional. Emotional. You're what emotional, you bro. Like, You're emotional. What do you mean I'm emotional? I, like, you get upset you know, and you, you go are. on social media. I, 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 nah, nah. You I see have me my get, emotional moments. That's not, <laughs> we, that's that's not, not emotional moments. That's just the, the phone's in my hand. That's no, what, what are you going to say? You're just bored? No, I don't have to do this interview. I can say everything I said to you on my phone. <laughs> well, that's a good point. I got 45 million people following me on Facebook. Right. So it's like if you're saying like, you got to do things... To keep people entertained, if I like, if I create this thing where I don't have emotions at all, mm. then it's, no it's easily because I'm not human. It's right, like right, it's right. like a machine. Like you got at some points, you got to put things there and then go. Okay, those things are the things that don't bother me. Know that. But or where would, do you, where do you draw the line? Like for example, what advice would you give to someone like who we've seen struggle with it? Iggy Azalea, for example, right. seems like she needs someone to be, grab her phone and be like, no, don't need to do that. How do you handle a situation like that? It's just her well, publisher should help her. Like the, in response to the things that they're saying, uh, there's a lot of things that happen within our culture that aren't cool with what initially mm -hmm. we fell in love with, and Iggy is probably a smaller portion of it. People just they pick things to be upset about. Like, I, how about authenticity? How about, um, like, you you like you like having your own style in the very beginning was really important, like, coming in. And now, now I'm watching the train. Bite. Yeah, New York artists say they're trapping out a bando. You know what I'm saying? From New York and New Jersey coming out with, the, with those, that content. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's almost like you've lost what mm -hmm. hip-hop was in the be very beginning. It's about all. being original and having your own shit. Yeah, like, like style, yeah. Look, uh, look, Bobby Schmurter joint is a Chief Keef record to me. It sounds like drill music. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and you got everything that, that, that I see is a reflection of the new wave of, of music that's coming. And it's like to fit in, to get in is, is what the, you know, the goal is instead of to actually create something that sets you apart. Do you feel weird about artists? Um, it, for the history of music, always, artists used to get songs that were written by other people. Right. However, that wasn't the case in hip hop. These days, there are more examples of people taking entire records that are written for them. Where do you guys stand on this? I well, I wouldn't do a song, a tire record, someone wrote. I don't know. Like, I'll never do no. that. Like I just, cause I've had so much success with my own idea. I think that's the beauty of it. Like, you, like once you condition for the writing, it's it's twenty five minutes, thirty minutes, and it's done. Like the record is done. So it's like, how many times can you do it if you feel like you're working hard? Like a person that's working, doing hard labor right now is working from nine to five. If you did that from nine to five, how many ideas would you have? Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's like. But I mean, you're not saying you've never. Taking a song that someone else gave you to beat. No, in the I hook. wouldn't. Like, not, like if you if you had to beat in the hook there and it was a hit, I'm just gonna do it. Right. Common sense say just just right. make the hit. Like it's just if you hear something you're like, oh, this is crazy. Let me, like do it. Write the record. You know, I just I spent a lot of time in my career. I haven't had records that the chorus was written on before I got there, unless it was something me and M was collaborating on. 
you know, because he would go find the the singer and 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 different things like, and they would, whether the singer was a writer or or he actually offered some you know content for them to come up with what it was going to be, you know, like those things happen like that. Because creatively, I've been there that I kind of know what direction I want to go into. Like even when I'm if if you're going to go towards the records that feel like that they're, they're relationship orientated, it has to be specifically a way that I'm comfortable. Like I want to get to know you. I'm saying something that is the entry portion of everyone should understand it. It's like Music Soul Child saying, I don't want to pressure you. I just want your number. I know your name. Like Donald Jones saying, ooh, say what, say what, say what? Like it's monotone melody, not trying to actually hit the note the key sweat with hit on the record. And that shifted to the point where if an artist has vocal abilities, he can do something completely different. You got full love, you got full songs now. Like. Like the rap artist is singing a song. Yeah, the coach is emerging. You got well, you R&B were, you artists. Were, you you sang. You didn't sing whole songs, but you sang. You did the you hook. put melodies on it. And look, Michael Jackson himself, right? He, when he wanted me to do the Monster record, it was his new version of, of Thriller. He said, "You got to keep doing that." Because Michael said this. Yeah, he said, and the reason why he said it is because he said, "When you're you're." International because you got a record that everyone is paying attention to at one time the 13 million records on the first one and 10 million records on the next one that those records were worldwide at everywhere in the world they were appreciating the music and those people don't speak English so they're following nothing but the melody mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying so when they say some artists they have stronger melody than 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 usual like like Drake situations like he, he can do things that not all of the artists can do it's like part r&b artists part hip-hop artists mm -hmm. and when, when they have the ability to do that they have the ability to reach a broad audience because there's points where people who don't know the language can just follow the sound conversation that people have privately in hip-hop you know <clears throat> debates is always like yo 50 finished off ja rule for singing on records and then he started singing on records yeah yeah now what records now when did you see me in the rain with mary <laughs> <laughs> or, or like with J Lo, like with, with the yeah. that those was like it's an extreme difference. So in content, like if you see you, so you can consider Mini Men a song. You sing it's a war chant, completely mm -hmm. a war chant, and it's sure. like to this day, it's one of the records that ring off. Mm -hmm. Performance wise, it's in the club. Yeah, um, yeah. boxing time. Let's get yeah, into this yeah. real boxing talk. We got some excitement, man. SMS promotions. You know, like uh, I, I got uh, James Kirkland. Mm. Man, Dingo Warrior, he's going to fight Canelo Alvarez come um, May 9th. Laura, you interested? His name's Mandingo Warrior. Please. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, whenever you want to see me, all you got to do is Google Iteration Day. <laughs> oh, God. I'm there, baby. They show you a version of it. Uh, you putting down a million dollars on Mayweather to win this fight against uh, Yeah, he's going to win this. He's going to win this. I, um, I say a lot of stuff about Champ. You know what I'm saying? He says stuff about me, but when we get ready, like, this is a big one for him, so no confusion from here. So, um, behind the scenes boxing talk. Cause right. I, I heard NBC's jumping back in the primetime boxing yeah. game. You saw that. Yeah, it's going to be big. Like um, it, It'll be great for the sport because there'll be, be more exposure on other fighters. And for those that don't know, HBO and Showtime are collaborating on this mm -hmm. Mayweather-Pacquiao situation. Right. right. Yeah. And Mayweather has, what, two more fights he has to give Showtime. Is that right? right? Yep. So that means that he's either going to win this fight against Pacquiao or it's going to be a draw. Then they're going to fight again. And then they're going to go all the way to Pacquiao Mayweather 3, which will be on NBC primetime. I, I wouldn't think. fight him. When Champ knock him off, I wouldn't fight him again. If, if you think if Mayweather wins, which you think he will, you don't think he should do a second? No. Just be done with it. Yeah. But Why do you say that? Because risk versus reward. Let's just knock him off and then move to the next thing. But isn't there... You can't complain to whoever he fights next. After isn't he's there beat more the money? Guy you felt like was the guy. But isn't there more money in, in, in probably Pacquiao too than anything else, unless it's a blowout, unless he just destroys him in one? Well, I think it it won't be that difficult of a fight if he don't. Man, 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 he got to get to Floyd early. There's no way you go. If you get past round three, it's all champ. From there, it don't take him but three rounds to figure the fight out. But Mayweather's not gonna brawl with Pacquiao. He's not gonna go. He's Don't not gonna stand there, bro. He mix it up with him. He you think he'll mix it up with him? Yeah, if he he likes putting on a show. You think that he, he can't? Mm -hmm. He will. You see I what mean, I'm that's what like, everybody wants to yeah, see. Because you've seen Floyd take the easiest route. The, the the object of having jeopardy in the sport of boxing is to hit and not be hit, or he can't even talk when you talk to him. You know what I'm saying? So 
He does a lot of that. Doesn't mean he can't mix it. I've seen him. I've seen him. Yeah, get in the pocket. And a lot of people think Mayweather don't have a knockout punch, but he, he does. He can go. Yeah. yeah, no, he does. Mayweather generally mixes it up when he wants to mix it up. Right. It's fun That's what for I'm him. To you. Miguel Cotto, he enjoyed. He respected him enough to mix it up with him. Right. When you get into. And Cotto can hit. He can. Like, like. Like when you start seeing your mother telling you things as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> like we got out of the chat was like, yo. <laughs> we say, yeah, damn. So are you in are you in Floyd on better terms now than you were? Yeah, yeah. I run into him. Once we see each other face to face, you know, you start you get a chance to say, uh, damn, Fi, when you say something, go everywhere, man. What the what? You know, like you know, like, we gonna do this? Like you me and you go. Like, like in public, altercation. Like, I'm like, nah. What are we gonna fight for? But you yeah. and Mayweather, it's it's no problem. What was I, the real problem anyway? I missed the I whole not, shit. Look, look, any, in any event that two people make a communication and they agree to partner in business, if you decide that you're not gonna hold up your end, it turns into a lawsuit, and you end up paying it anyway. Got it. I just didn't see how you could sue someone you view as your younger brother. So I didn't do that at all. Like, it would be easy for me to sue to get the money that you put in back. When you no felt problem. like Floyd, well, Floyd, what you're saying you to me right now is in. Floyd owes you money. No, he, he don't owe it because I had the assets in the fighters. That's why James Kirkland is fighting Canelo Got Alvarez. Got it. You see what I'm saying? So you still, you know, still. How you feel about Hove's Rock Nation boxing? I, well, I think it's a great idea. I think it's a good idea for him to get into the sport. Like, oh. Uh, like if they have every the the right pieces and they're still trying to put those things together, so let's see what happens. Are you gonna do one of these deals? Do you have a deal with a network? I know I, I hear Jay is with HBO. Um, he did a deal with HBO. That's what I hear. I don't know if it's mm -hmm. done. I don't know what the deal is. Are you doing any of those deals? Are you gonna be with NBC now? It, that it would be cool. You need a network deal, so you got to do that that piece. Or it's, it's you have fighters that are already positioned to the point that they'll be consistently used the network anyway because their brands are built you know so I like if, if you're going to you have some promoters that are, are completely promoting to for profit for themselves and then you have people that have assets and fighters that are maneuvering the position the fighter in the best position for themselves and that's what I'm doing at the current moment yo speaking of uh, sports it is throwback Thursday and last week we lost an all-time great New York Nick um, Mason. Yeah, you guys, I know, are big Knicks fans. I used to see him on Merrick, Merrick Boulevard. Two, he used to be in the hood. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so what are, what are your memories? What do you think made uh, Anthony Mason so special as a Nick? Well, I think his personality, too. Like, the, when, when people, Charles Barkley's like that, too. His, his personality reflected in his game when he wasn't talking. Like, you can see, see why the things that come out of his mouth now, like, you look at it and go, oh, okay. It, it is the same person that was playing, but we didn't hear him talking. With that aggressive energy that he, he feels passionate about his concepts of, of how things should be and you hear him say things that you go okay I don't necessarily agree with that but you did say it passionately <laughs> yeah, yo, you know he, what I mean like, was he uh, yeah yo, you think he was like was he the hood's favorite Nick back in the day I, th I think so cause I used to see him on, on Merrick Boulevard 226 all the time he's related to one of my men so he used to be in Laurelton Tennessee on a State regular university. Mm -hmm. he's where university Tennessee State University. Oh, that's right. So you got extra love, too. I knew exactly who he was. Mm -hmm. You know, as a youngster, we used to deal with him around there because he made himself available to the street. As he would come out. Like so he was really see guy regular You know, guy. that was the yeah. best Nick team you could see in history. he was like history. a power come forward on. that was dribbling Stocks, up. He was like a point Mason. forward. Rest yeah, he was one of the man. first big men that could take it he from court to... He was a football to... player. Yeah, he was that big. played basketball. And he made the hit. He made the hit designs pop. That's real. Because he was coming in there getting Mason in his head, the Knicks. All that, you know? The Knicks right now, Fifth, you still going to games? Yeah, I still go watch. It's hard, though. It is, because you got to watch other teams you like. <laughs> yeah, like I went down there. You got to go see LeBron. This. LeBron was there. There you go. LeBron, you gotta, that was the night LeBron 46 or something. Yeah, I, went I was there for that game. It's tough when you're, the star players are hurt. That's like a halfway Knicks fan. Oh, because I don't want to see nobody. You're a super, you're not even going to the games right now. No, nah, not right now. I ain't been in the game since Nate Robinson. Yeah, he's kind of whoa because it is. I was there like in the playoffs, like as a little kid, like you know what I'm saying. So when I, I don't want to. Yeah, I love he LeBron. Did, I love Kobe, like but a, like a ball player on his own. Yeah, like, like, <laughs> nice. You know? So you Can't just no refuse to go. Man, I refuse to go. Whoa, 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 whoa.
What happened? Lloyd you, Banks, what'd you say? Can't another rapper beat you in basketball? Buck could play. Or, what? Or rap. Buck could play. Man, I put him up. <laughs> He's my favorite for? artist, so I'll stay away from the rap thing. I'll, 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 nah, I'll, Buck, it, but basketball? Buck is, Buck is he's like like real raw energy. I'll just put it like that. Me, me is more like skill. You know what I mean? I rather start. I rather start. That's what we need to start. We need to start betting some of these rappers. That'll be a good little kickoff. Hot 97. Buck against whoever it is. Against Banks. 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 Mm-hmm. We, we can go get to the Rucker this Listen. summer. It's My not man, a thing. Listen, this, this past George, weekend, George, I just seen Jade on the court, right? The Rucker, right? They say, yo, you got, got your Jordan. jersey, Banks? They know. Listen, it's man, check me out, E. I, I, we gonna do it. Fifth, go ahead, because I'm having Because look, go, we're gonna have an F and Let's get this going. Yeah. SMS yeah. audio throwing up the bread. Let's get what? this going. No, 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 F and vodka no, 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 no. throwing <laughs> up the bread. <laughs> I'm with it. Phil, we might need to put nah, nah, the I was just rolling myself and my relationships to this situation until they started asking me to pay for it. I only have one B for 50 Cent, and it's very serious. Why the fuck? Did you put that one, two, three on the I Get Money remix? I hate oh, that oh, the, the Whose one, idea? Two, one, <laughs> one, two, one, three. Two, three. Why <laughs> did you do that? Because we was one, two, and number I three on four. Care. It's distracting. <laughs> what remix? Listen, listen. What remix of a record? Wait, wait, wait. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. What, what remix has number one, number two, and number three on Forbes on the record called I Get Money. I, we get that. This is what I'm talking about as far as <laughs> we get that, but Boy, that man. little one joke. It was so yeah. distracting. <laughs> you didn't I have to do it like that. that. I wanted you to hear it. And you saw your whole team started laughing. That means no one wants to tell you about that. I never paid that no attention to him, man. Think about that. I wanted I think you to hear it. I think that was the last thing I thought he was going to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know 50 long enough. See how he starts squirming in his chair? You see how he starts squirming in his chair? That's when he starts saying, my neck is tight. <laughs> My neck is tight. I'm loosening up. Oh God! <laughs> don't loosen up, oh. Fifth. I don't want to see where I go. <laughs> yeah. So, Fifth, listen. Um, appreciate the talk today, bro. Yeah, man. It's good. Always good, good to, to, to talk be, to you. See you guys. Yeah. Stay away from the bartenders, bro. No more bartenders. For nah, you. don't do that. No, no you know what? If I see you next to a bartender, because the motherfuckers is fine. <laughs> the motherfuckers is fine. No, I ain't gonna lie, I'm trying to tell you for real. <laughs> the album Beast is uh, up on iTunes right now. Before or the, the EP. Beast, before the Beast mixtape is out, it's for free. You can get that too. Okay. Yeah, Besides no. the EP, are you guys working on any any projects individually? Yeah, um, I'm working on the Cold Corner Three, my next mixtape, so you can expect that real soon. Yeah. yeah. Any, any collabs? Any productions? No. Nah. Just you, straight bars. Yeah. Lloyd Banks. And yeah, yo, you, yeah, yo, you uh, keeping that my, driveway oh, clean? Yeah, yeah, keep my driveway clean. <laughs> Got that El Chapo coming real soon. Don't worry about it. Working. And, and follow now, Tony Yeo on all social media because one of the joys, I hate social media, but one of the joys of it is Tony Yeo's personality on social media. Yeah, I'm, like you're like one of the most street artists of all time, but you're so happy go lucky on social media. It's my favorite. Yeah, always friendly yeah. comments. I know. He's always bigging up everything we do and throwing us up yeah, nice little I signs. Mean, yeah, I've been yeah. following y'all. Not crazy. Except enough, for when you, you hit that crazy, punching bag. Right. I get a little <laughs> scared. I say <laughs> crazy. About that I'm trying to get saved. <laughs> Jeez. Crazy Latino women. Nah, I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's deeper. So you're not dating any more Spanish it's women? It's deeper. No, I, li- I love Latino women. I, I gotta... <laughs> He's not going anywhere. Am I don't with a girl. In, in, a in the lot. power couple thing, that not for you. <laughs> well, if the, if the woman is already in that position, <laughs> yeah. then yeah, if you you saying, you saying you're going to create a power company, you're going to make power? Yeah. That's just saying that I'm, I'm, I'm going to find someone to spend marketing dollars on. That's why I don't change nobody's work. Right, right, right. No, nobody's job function. Got it, got it, got it. You let them do what they've been doing. You know what I'm saying? Instead of shifting it and, and putting them in a whole nother pocket, because then then what? Then you sustain, or you've given someone an entire career for their life, and then when it doesn't go away, like Amber, then what? Then you sit there and you have this thing right now. With, with, you know what I'm saying? With Kim and, 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 and her, because she's become her own animal, on her own. That thing is... A part of pop culture for how long? You do realize you said that thing. <laughs> that thing. Is a part of pop culture no, for how it's, long? It's serious business, Amber. Yeah, like, is it moving? <laughs> no, I I looked at the tape the other night. She was on the computer. It was like, pop, right pop, right pop. pop. No, she was twerking it. But what? Amber, like Amber's serious. Of course. Amber, like Amber, 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 Amber's, Amber's, doing, Amber's making her money. She's doing all right. Uh, yeah, that's her, you know that's her public relations. Oh, you the public relations member? Not public relations. Just a good, just she's really the good cool. Friends. She's the good homie. She's the cool person. What I'm saying is she's something to look at. She's in there twerking. I'm looking. You're watching. You're lurking. She's twerking. Lurking. You're lurking. lurking. <laughs>
<laughs> Yo, G <laughs> unit, pick up that <laughs> Rosenberg. <laughs> Yo, listen, <laughs> before, 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 like, no, 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 because listen, we were having this this conversation before you guys walked in. I was really, I was like, yo, I feel for Amber because you know Wiz just dropped that record with Juicy J where he's like dissing her public them like he's mm. emotional. Ebro was like. That's what she gets for dating a rapper. That's what she gets. That's so, not true. Stop what trying to keep that? beautiful women away from rappers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, <laughs> rappers get emotional, hit that social media, rap about you in a song. But that's the mother of his child. Nah, I don't man. think it's Come right. On. I'm just saying. Let it's me what say it this. Is. Let me say this to you, right? Like, if you go publicly, if 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 it's your life, then remember we used to talk about authenticity and artists using things that they're experiencing the right. Because that's what's on their mind, what their passion is at that present moment. Mm -hmm. So he, what, what's happening is, is bleeding into his art, to his work, because he's thinking about. I think you're not so thinking spiteful. about how much it costs to divorce. I mean, I'm sure, but it was do you understand what I'm saying though. to you? Like, think about what 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 you're really looking at. Like, it, a lot of that that energy. It's not even. I, I think that the the words that you choose at that point reflect whatever discomfort you're actually going through. How much that is, but later you like. Whatever. But is there a line you ever draw? Buck, for example, you have many children. Is is speaking ill of <laughs> is speaking ill of the mother of those children many not something children. you would do, or would you let that? Would you let? Would you do that? I just do it different. Me personally, I choose to keep mine away from all of that, so I ain't really with them. I think it depends the on the scenario. Thing. You've seen what I went through wow. with my first son's mother. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's it's a different thing. You don't see the same energy from for Sire, from a new. Well, you, but you're older now. You probably, maybe, do you decide that wasn't the and move? It, it just now, wasn't. Do they do that to me? The scenario, yes. the discomfort of having to move away from it. You know what that's like? Like, she was spending half a million dollars a year on a girl. On stuff connected to her and, and the kid. And then when you are so angry that you want to go through the process, and we go through and they tell you you get $6,700 a month, it's like hitting you in the head with a rock while you're walking down the street for ra randomly. Every corner that you make in the city, a new rock hits you in the head. But still, I feel like, yo, his son Bash has to listen to that one day, man. You have, his son has to listen to his dad being crazy on record about his mother. He probably won't change his views. Like, if his mother continues to do things that, that irritate him or that's, that's not acceptable to him, like, in the, in the same way, like, you, you say this, look, why? I don't know why it's like this, but... I think friendship is the strongest form of a relationship. When people get together and they're friends, if they're attracted to each other and circumstance and time permits it, there'll be some sort of intimacy. After they develop value for that f friendship, if the woman, again, if she's, if it's religiously connected, she's gonna look for marriage at some point. Or she's saying that this is the next level of this actual relationship. When that happens, the man goes that far in the in situation to say he wanted or intended to be with her for the rest of his life, right? I don't know too many people get married with no prenuptial agreement that don't intend to be with the person. And then when it doesn't go that way and you say for whatever reasons that you feel like it's a sufficient opt for you to leave, look at the stuff that we've seen in relationships that haven't gone to the point where the commitment is there and what people bear before they feel like it's enough. They're with each other a lot, go through a lot more and sustain each other yeah, in different yeah. ways you know what I'm saying like they bear with each other a lot more than when there's no the security is there within how much I'll get when we're not together like, That's like what's right. your, it's what, incentive it's incentive to right, break up to break up it's right. like yo you know I, yeah. shit you know, if it does end I mean look at the right. child support the first one 55,000 a month you really think you're gonna get 55,000 okay you pay 55,000 no, a month no but this is oh, I, I paid 25,000 a month for six months for the actual support was in. So when you get the $25,000 a month with only 10 minutes in the courtroom, you do say, "I'm," and you're going to pay $55,000 a month. I'll find another dick to suck. <laughs> <laughs> On that note. Play like a big boy. Good night. <laughs>